Hello and welcome to the Unicorn Experts YouTube channel. This is Tatiana, professional recruiter in supply chain and logistics, and this is part two of our series of conversations about successful job search strategy. And today I have some great news for you. I hope that this statistics that I have on hand is going to be is going to encourage you and give you that extra motivation. Four months ago in May, I reached out to about 200 people online via LinkedIn with just one question. Please tell me, how did you find your first job in Canada, whether you were a new grad or a newcomer to the country? So basically, I reached out to people who at the very beginning were in a less advantageous position, but they still managed to find a job in Canada. You may not be a new immigrant, you may not be a new grad, but still, this statistics, I think, is very powerful, especially if you are looking uh, for support and encouragement. You will be surprised. I reached out to 200 people, 95 of them got back to me, and the number one answer, which means 41 person replied back, to me saying that they applied to multiple job postings online and that's how they found their job in Canada. That's how they found their job. The answer that came second, I had to survive, I have to survive and work somewhere else first before I got my first job in Canada. This answer, I personally relate to that because I had to go through a survival job for about eight months before I found my first job in Canada in supply chain. So this answer is actually the second popular answer. Then uh, through school call program, eight people responded with that answer. Non-profit employment organizations, I knew someone personally in the industry, uh, job fair or network networking via social media, including LinkedIn. What this statistics tells me, and this is something that I'm, I, I, I'm responsible for the statistics and it's, it's true. And uh, it tells me that applying for jobs is still a very good, effective strategy. However, many respondents mentioned that they had to tailor their resume specifically for this industry, for this company, for this particular job description. So if you are aiming to find a job that satisfies all your needs and the job where you can bring the most value, you definitely need to invest some time and tailor your resume so your value is comes through. So the, the hiring manager, the talent acquisition specialist, they see the exact value you bring to their particular company and how they can mm, utilize your experience and background in their particular business. And here is something else. Uh, I want to read a few answers and I'm very grateful to those participants who took their time and responded back uh, with their stories. Um, so operations manager mentioned to me, uh, this is what he said, I applied to multiple job postings online. My recommendation to newcomers is to keep positive, motivated, and do not give up. The second person, process improvement engineer, who is currently employed, said that what personally helped me the most was that I took every interview and networking session as a learning experience rather than as failure, no matter how bad it went. I just tried not to make the same mistakes the second time, which is very important. <laughs> uh, that attitude helped me to keep going and not brood too much on why I haven't got the job yet. And the last one came from supply chain manager, of course, who is currently employed. Uh, he's saying that after graduation, I worked as a delivery driver and as a general laborer in manufacturing facilities until I got an opportunity to work in supply chain. All these jobs taught me humility which has immense helped me grow, not only as a person, but as a professional too. And as I always tell my candidates, make sure you know exactly what you want and you spend time tailoring your resume for each specific job. However, if you are at the point in your life where you have to pay your bills, 
and uh, you just cannot afford to stay home and continue applying anymore. Working somewhere, taking a step back, working in the warehouse, working in the grocery store may sound like a step back for you. However, it is a survival experience and it can connect you with people who will eventually make a difference in your future career growth. So keep in mind that these days um, there are a lot of opportunities where you can give back contribute your time, and of course, make a difference. I hope all of you spent this day effectively, invest in yourself, and take the job search strategy mindfully. <laughs> Thank you for your time. This was Tatiana, Recruiter in Supply Chain and Logistics.